Are you over the moon for over the moon? I have an out of this world collection of fun facts to share with you. Ready. Tell me about Chang'e. The story of the film is inspired by the legend of the moon goddess Chang'e, which has taken on many variations across time and cultures. When the Over the Moon team went on a research trip to China, they took pictures of everything. Not just amazing views, but also delicious dinners, and even the items in people's homes. They wanted the world of Over the Moon to feel grounded in real lives of real people. <laughs> Good choice. While they didn't get to travel all the way to the moon for research, the production team did rely on actual NASA photographs of the moon. That's close enough, right? The town Fei Fei lives in is based on Wuchen, China, a place known for its beautiful canals, boats, and bridges. Chang'e is quite the fashionista. Her costumes were created by Chinese fashion designer Guo Pei. Keep an eye out for how she wove stories into clothing. Chang'e's royal robe tells the story of her love for Ho Yi as two intertwining birds. There is an image of Ho Yi as an archer in front of the sun, but it's placed on the back of the robe where Chang'e can't see it. Oh, that's so poetic! <laughs> Let's talk about Fei Fei. Whoosh. Every little detail of her character was carefully considered by character designers. She's spunky and unique, so she's got a smile that leans to the side. Her sleeves are always kind of covering her hands, and her hairstyle is a bit choppy. She's also working on a big project, so her headband is a practical way to keep her hair out of her face while she works. Long ago in ancient story, beautiful and kind Chang'e. Traditional Chinese instruments were used throughout the film's songs. Keep an ear out for the xiao, a Chinese vertical flute, and the pipa, a plucked instrument with four strings. Can't get the songs out of your head? The musical style of Over the Moon is a unique blend of classic Broadway with a fresh K-pop sound. The dance moves are pretty cool too. Chang E's choreography was created by Kyle Hanagami, who has previously worked with stars like Justin Bieber and Blackpink. Bungie the Bunny and Croak the Frog aren't just there to be cute. They're important parts of the story, as they are meant to see their owners, Fei Fei and Chin, as their superheroes. Aww. Lunaria is a beautiful floating city made of shapes and colors. Oh, welcome. welcome! Everything in Lunaria is linked to Chang'e. She's the source of light and energy, which is why everything, including all the creatures, is illuminated from within. Now that's power. Did you notice that there are no walls in the palace? Not having any physical walls means the palace can change color and structure according to Chang'e's moods. It also means that Chin can't run into any walls like he does on Earth. Ah! Ooh, ouch. That one seemed like it hurt. The teardrop-shaped Lunarians are actually the most joyful characters. They're always happy, but at the same time, they only exist because of Chang'e's sadness. Oh, <laughs> goddess! Whoa, was that a winged lion? The designs of these amazing Lunarian creatures are based on Chinese stone lions that are thought to protect from harmful influences. The animators really got to bond with the characters. They personally acted out scenes and poses to get a better feel for how they should move. Some of the actors voiced members of Fei Fei's family on Earth and the biker chickens on Lunaria. Hmm, talk about range. Well Fei Fei's rocket design is inspired by a futuristic maglev train, styled like her rabbit bungee, and powered in true mid-autumn festival fashion. Five fireworks. And that's just about it. Now it's time for me to get back down to Earth. <laughs> Bye, everyone.